Somewhere in there, my emotions, my fitra, my nature tells me, no one loves me more than mom. No one can comfort me like mom. So it's not like if I'm in the grocery store, think about it this way, you know, if I'm shopping and then mom takes something away from me, I go to some stranger and say, hug me, pick me up, give me relief. You give me candy now and I'll be your child. You don't do that. You go back to mom because there's an elevated level of trust. There's an elevated level of trust that I trust you enough that even though I feel like you're causing me pain right now, I know that you also can give me comfort that no one else can give me. With Allah Azza wa Jal, لا ملجأ ولا منجأ منك إلا إليك. One of the most powerful du'as of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. لا ملجأ ولا منجأ منك إلا إليك. لا ملجأ ولا منجأ منك إلا إليك. There is no escape and no shelter from you except to you. So beautiful. There is no escape or shelter from you except back to you. That's an elevated level of trust. The mother to the child. The third level is to trust Allah the way that the dead body trusts the washer. Ghusl and mayyit. SubhanAllah ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah says very beautifully that the dead body is turned in whatever direction the washer sees fit in order to purify you and cleanse you. And the dead body does not express any objections. Let's the washer turn and wash and purify as the washer sees fit. And that is the greatest level of tawakkul you can have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walillah al mathalul a'la. And to Allah belongs the best example. To trust Allah that much. You trust Allah that much. Now, let's say you get past that trust. Tawakkul is the theological foundation. Al-ihtisab, to seek the reward for your moment of pain, is the spiritual, active way to use your tawakkul. Al-ihtisab, uh, the definition of al-ihtisab is a sabr li raja al thawab to be patient with the hope of Allah's reward. So it's not just patience because you're just, you know, when it's like someone punches you so you just take it. No, it's a sabr li raja thawab It's, oh Allah, I'm hurt, reward me. Oh Allah, I'm in pain, so give me of the hereafter. Oh Allah, I'm in pain, give me paradise. That is a sabr, that's al ihtisab to seek Allah's reward. Which in Arabic, as-sabr li raja al-thawab. To be patient for the hope in Allah's reward. Okay? So you're seeking a reward now with that pain. You're immediately channeling it and you're saying, Ya Allah, I'm not going to waste my time asking you why this is happening to me. Can anyone tell me about a perfect woman who lived under a tyrant? What her name was? Asiya. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned four women who perfected their iman. Perfect faith. I mean, that's a, an incredible testimony. Perfect iman. Perfect. Okay? Maryam alayhi salam. Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha. Fatima al-Zahra radiallahu anha. Asiya alayhi salam. 